next problem in what ratio does the point minus 1 comma minus 1 divides the line segment the line segment joining the points the points 4 comma 4 and 7 comma 7 4 comma 4 and 7 comma 7 Now we have to find the ratio in which line segment joining the points A 4 comma 4 and B 7 comma 7 which is divided by a point P minus 1 comma minus 1. Let the ratio be case to 1. Therefore, minus 1 is equal to 7k plus 4 upon k plus 1. Minus k minus 1 is equal to 7k plus 4 or minus k minus 7k is equal to 4 plus 1. Therefore, minus 8k is equal to 5 k is equal to minus 5 by 8 therefore point P divides AB externally in the ratio 5 is to 8 externally because the value of k is negative if the value of k is negative, then the point will divide in the external case. And if k is positive, then it will divide the line segment internal. Next problem. In what ratio does the x-axis divides the lines joining the points divides the line joining the points two comma minus three and five comma six Again we have to find the ratio in which the x axis divides the line segment joining the points 2 comma minus 3 and 5 comma 6. Line segment joining the points A 2 comma minus 3 and B 5 comma 6. Now it is divided by x axis. So we have to take a point on x axis. Let the point on x axis is x comma 0. Let the point on x axis be x comma 0. Now it will divide the line segment joining the points in the ratio k is to 1. Again let the ratio be p k is to 1. Therefore, now here y coordinate is 0. So, we can take 0 is equal to k multiplied by 6 plus 1 multiplied by minus 3 upon k plus 1. Or we can say 6k minus 3 this is equal to 0. So, k equal to 3 upon 6 this is equal to 1 by 2. So, 
द पॉइंट पी डिवाइड्स द लाइन सेगमेंट इन द रेशियो इन द रेशियो वन इज टू टू नाउ सपोज इफ यू वॉन्ट टू फाइंड द पॉइंट एक्स देन हियर वी कैन ऑल्सो फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स नाउ द रेशियो इज वन इज टू टू सो वी कैन फाइंड एक्स इक्वल टू वन मल्टीप्लाइड बाई फाइव प्लस टू मल्टीप्लाइड बाई टू अपॉन वन प्लस टू और फाइव प्लस फोर अपॉन थ्री तो नाइन अपॉन थ्री इज थ्री देर फोर पॉइंट ऑन एक्स एक्सिस इज थ्री कॉमा जीरो विच डिवाइड द लाइन सेगमेंट जॉइनिंग द पॉइंट इन द रेशियो वन इज टू टू डिटर्माइन द रेशियो इन विच द लाइन थ्री एक्स प्लस वाई माइनस नाइन इक्वल टू जीरो डिवाइड्स द सेगमेंट जॉइनिंग द पॉइंट वन कॉमा थ्री एंड टू कॉमा सेवन now in this problem again we have to find the ratio now here line divides the line segment joining the points 1 and 3 let point a is 1 3 b is 2 7 now this line segment is divided by the line which is 3x plus y minus 9 equal to 0 at point p let the coordinate of point p is x comma y let it divides ab in the ratio k is to 1 so let the ratio be let the ratio be k is to 1 therefore point x will be equal to 2k plus 1 upon k plus 1 and y is equal to 7k plus 3 upon k plus 1 point p x comma y here x equal to 2k plus 1 upon k plus 1 and y equal to 7k plus 3 upon k plus 1 lies on the line 3x plus y minus 9 equal to 0 therefore the coordinate of x and y also satisfies the line 3x plus y minus 9 equal to 0 therefore 3 multiplied by 2k plus 1 upon k plus 1 plus y 7k plus 3 upon k plus 1 minus 9 Equal to zero, or we can say six k plus three plus seven k plus three minus nine k minus nine equal to zero, or four k minus three equal to zero. Therefore, k is equal to three upon four. Therefore, the ratio is. K three is to four. The ratio is three is to four. Now next problem is on the parallelogram. If any value of vertices of parallelogram are unknown, then we can find the unknown values with the help of the sectional formula. So next problem is a minus two comma minus one and b. A comma zero, C four comma B, 
and D one comma two are the vertices of a parallelogram. Then find the value of A and B. Now A, B, C, D are the vertices of parallelogram. A, B, C. D. The coordinate of A is minus two comma minus one. The coordinate of B is a comma zero. The coordinate of C is four comma b, and the coordinate of D is one comma two. Now we know that diagonals of a parallelogram. Diagonals of a parallelogram bisect each other. Bisect each other. So diagonals AC and BD let it intersect at point E, and the coordinate of E let be x comma y. So E midpoint of AC. This is equal to minus two plus four upon two. Comma minus one plus b upon two. Again, E also the midpoint of BD. Now this is equal to a plus one upon two, comma zero plus two upon two. A point E same. Therefore. Minus two plus four upon two is equal to a plus one upon two. This will gives a plus one equal to two. So a equal to one. Similarly, minus one plus b upon two is equal to zero plus two upon two. It will gives minus one plus b equal to two. So b equal to three. Therefore, unknown values are a equal to one and b equal to three.